Okay, we're gonna, today, it's been 11, 12 days since the last inspection when we found the four uncapped queen cells. So we're hoping we have a new queen here. We hope she's made it. Today we're just gonna inspect and see if we have any evidence of a laying queen. We're also gonna add a super on because we got a feeling we're gonna be backfilled with a lot of nectar because there's been no egg laying, so the bees are putting stuff everywhere, so. I think I just got bumped. A lot of propolis. They have glued this top down. See all that? Yep. And that's just the beginning of this stuff, right? All right, that's no, this is actually just burr comb. No big deal. And it's got a little nectar and you can see her collecting it right there. Yep. Now I'm twisting it a little bit. And I'll check this to see if we have food on the top board. What we have is a lot of bird comb with nectar in it. And I'm not seeing anything. Just workers, and I'm going to put this down in front of the hive just to make sure that these girls can get back up. So It is sticky. I mean, I have never seen this much propolis in this hive before. It's looking uh, really sticky. <laughs> We've had a solid 10 days of rain, it seems like, on and off. And it's just been ridiculous. We don't know that the girls have had A break from the weather at all. Watch out, ladies, coming in. Just move this over so I can get the hive tool in there. It is glued in. Yeah, that's not good. Put your finger. And what do I see here? A lot of honey on that top of the frame and some pollen. Is that her? Yeah, you talking into the baby? See, there's a drones and then there's work to do. Gotcha. She'll have a very long abdomen. Very long. So that's a, quite a bit of honey on one frame. I wasn't that good. 
when I'm hoping for eggs. It means I definitely need to put a super on here because the bees are back filling. That's why we brought that out here. Give them a place to put honey instead of in the, the hive boxes, the, the brood boxes as bees are called, or deeps. So otherwise what will happen is uh, when she does come to be a mated queen, she won't have any place to lay because it'll be full of honey. We don't want that. She's got to have room to lay. What happens if they don't have room to lay is they'll swarm too. They'll take off and say, well, I've got no other place to work here. She will. And this is one of those plastic frames. It is glued at the bottom. Not want to come out. All right, I know. Sorry. That's promising. Lots of honey on top. Nectar. Side of it. I can and you can let them go. Yeah. They'll make those just in case they need one. I see a couple capped brood, but I don't know how old those are. I'm gonna set that down. Something in there. I'm getting pretty excited. Oh, this can't go bad. This one smells bad. It's probably really hot. Yeah, I'm just barely going across the top. Okay, I'm filling. Don't make an arm sweating. Watch out, girls. Alright. I don't know what to do. I see drone brood. What do I see? See how they're eraser shaped? Yeah, it's a drone. But these right here are flat. And there's. Excuse me, let me show Jared. Look. See, that's all brand new cap stuff, and that is not drone brood. This, these eraser ones are drone, but the other one's not. There's a bunch of drone down here in the bottom, and that's normal. So, I'm looking for the queen, not seeing her on this frame at all. All right, I'm gonna put this back, but there are. Definitely signs of a laying queen. I think. I think it worked this time. I do, I do, I do. That's a relief. It took us twice to do this. Definitely want to put that tape on. Yeah. Probably 
brought it out. This one. Okay. A lot of honey. Let me get the sun. That's all honey, Jerry. Every bit of it. There's a bunch of bees on that end. Oh. Smoke it. I think you're out. Check it. Can you go pull it up for me? Sorry. I'm gonna need it. We got a long ways to go. Easy, Bob. Okay. What do we have here? Look at all that new cap brood. Yep. See it? Yep. And all those all larvae. You see how smaller it gets as you come further out? Yep. That we definitely go to her. Have a lane clean. There is baby larva all in here. So what we have is see if I'm in frame. Yeah. This is all baby baby tiny tiny larva and as you get in closer to the center we have some cap brood a drone here and there but overall it looks really good it's getting there so she's obviously went out she's obviously made it and she's come back because I can see I, this entire frame is full of eggs all the way up into here I can see tiny tiny larva can you see those Mark? oh yeah Day. So, what I don't see is her though. She has been all over this frame. And they'll start kicking drones to the curb now. Uh, all the drones that were in here will all start to be kicked out eventually. I would say over the next several weeks. Is the bee dog here? Let's see her on that frame. Watch out, girls. Because it's plastic. Honey. There's new larva in there. Can you see it? New eggs, new larva. Not a lot because. Oh, it's packed. Look at that. Wow. That is all larva. So, let me know if I'm in there. Found the queen? No, found all the larva, though. It, this whole frame is full. Is it in there? The frame's in there, but you can't really see the larva. Yeah. The whole frame is a less than a week old larva. So, just a few days old. Five, four to five days, probably. So. Looking good, kids. Looking good. So this side looks. We like. probably don't even need to go any further. Uh -huh. Look at that, kids. Wow. Looking good. Camera go, guys. Camera. Camera. I think I. I think I found her. Oh yay! Um. <laughs> 
it just looks bigger and it doesn't have the same kind of strength. So they point it out. She's definitely up here yeah, she's working this top box though. Start out with the first two, and uh, it uh, they didn't make it. And then the uh, we did these last four, and they made it. So one of them made it, obviously. But that's okay. We don't need to see her. We just need to see evidence of her. But I would say, boys and girls, we saw a lot of evidence. <laughs> So she is definitely on fire. So good deal. That was going to go a lot shorter than I expected it to go, which is good. What we wanted to see, my hope was that we weren't going to run into uh, well a uh, lane, worker. lane worker and no queen. That's what we were trying to. I was prepared to go shake bees for the day over there. You have to take the bees on the frames, walk 50 feet away from your hive, shake them all off, put them back in. A worker bee has never been out of the hive before, so they won't know how to get back. All the foraging bees that were on the hive will come back. And what then do, you what do worker bees lay them? How do you know work, how, Because all you would have would be drones. Okay. Because she's not fertilized. She's only got, as we talked about before, 16 chromosomes, not the 32 needed to uh, lay fertilized eggs. Looks like he's doing. And I'm going to move stuff around here for a little bit. Girls, you're looking good. Look at this. Yeah. Actually, that's not what goes on next. Oh, we kept the queen excluded. Yeah. Did we bring it? No, we didn't. 
Were we going to put one on this one? Yeah. No, we were. Right? Uh -huh. We're going to do the experiment. I don't know. Uh -huh. We well, want one anyways. We're going to put that on. Yeah. It keeps. We still don't want to go up there. Yeah, we still don't. We'll go get it. Please. I wasn't going to put one on there. I just wanted to try it out and see what some people don't use them at all. Some people use cleaning cleaners, some people don't. They say they're not even. Yeah. I get it. And I wanted to see the difference between the two things. Jared wants to put it on there, that's fine. So we have Elaine Queen. We know her, she's in this top box. I'm not even gonna look in the bottom, let it go. Looking good. Well he's gone I'll clean off some of the bird phone. things are sharp. Okay. What we're doing different is we're putting a one with a hole in the top, a three quarter inch drilled hole to uh, see if that produces more honey then one without or, or vi and vice versa, just to see, experiment, see how it goes for the fun of it. Looks straight. Looks good. Okay. Okay, now we're going to check the next side to see, we're just going to pop the top to look in the honey super to see if they started drawing any comb up there really fast. In and out. down the top. Ooh, we got bees. Oh, so this already has the third top on it. Yes. Gotcha. But it doesn't have a that they haven't started drawing out the super but that's okay they have it pretty happy we're back to normal things will get better so they should be ready for the winter shame we didn't see her but that's okay all right probably gonna leave them alone for what do you think three four weeks probably there's no point in messing with them come back in and check the supers in about three weeks or so. Uh, 
looks like she's got plenty of room to lay in here. I was worried about it being honey bound or nectar bound, but that's not the case. They're moving it around, they're getting it out of there. She's laying, so all good. I don't know what the bottom box looks like, but I'm sure it's just as good as the top box. I can see a lot of bees down there. So until next time, we're happy. Bye.